I often hear students of flamenco say something similar to this. I'd love to compose my own material in flamenco, whether it's a falsetta or a, a whole piece, but I just don't know where to begin. What would you say to someone who says that? Um, I think, and I don't want to frustrate any listeners by giving the same answer as a previous question, but I would start by listening. Now, I have a slightly little different angle to this. Um, if someone asked you, I would like to um, write a sonnet, but I've never written a sonnet before. And you say, okay, um, how many sonnets have you read? I've never read a sonnet. Okay, do you know the typical structure of a sonnet? No. Okay, well, we'll start there. Let's find out what a sonnet is. And then we'll work on the structure of it and the internal stuff and what makes it an, a sonnet. And then write a simple one. It doesn't have to be amazing uh but something you know your own sonnet you can you can you can write but it's the same within a music like flamenco um you listen and the more you listen and the more of other people's material that you learn and that's super important we can't get away from that you have to learn other people's material i mean all the time it's from doing that that you um that you that that you're able to that your fingers i suppose and the connection between your fingers and your head are able to sort of like make sense of what what you're hearing now in your ear how does that relate on the fingers so that if you have an idea you're you're more easily able to adapt it i would i would say like okay if you wanted to take a simple thing so let's say you want to compose a falsetta for whatever, for a solea or something, for example, one falsetta. Okay, well, what falsettas for solea do you already know? I would start there, okay? Take two falsettas that are different from each other and uh, start with a simple thing. Start with, um, take the exact falsetta as it is, syncopate some of the ideas change the notes change keep the notes the same change the rhythm keep the rhythm the same change all the notes uh work from what's already there and you're working with a template so to speak at the beginning um and the first thing you write is probably not going to be amazing that's not the point but the but but the writing process is just like the playing process. Um, it, everybody, I think, would take for granted if you said, I want to become um, really good at playing guitar, whatever genre. The obvious thing you need to do is you need to spend a lot of time playing guitar. <laughs> so if you want to become good at write, writing or satisfactory, like good for, for yourself, spend time doing it okay and there's a number of ways like i said adapt things that already exist or just take inspiration from things that already exist but uh, in, at the same time it, i would say like um if you're doing that for solea for example just make sure you understand a little bit about solea you know don't go blind into it because you can write something beautiful you might write something beautiful and it might function in some other form or some non-related music or whatever. But uh, solea means a certain thing and the rhythms of it mean a certain thing. And there's kind of places where the chord changes go, which you can change intentionally. But don't go changing them intentionally if you don't know where they should normally go. So, yeah, the, the, there's nothing. There's nothing. Honestly, there's nothing to stop. Don't let the, like um, don't let fear of it uh stop you doing it but 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 like relate it back to some other normal thing if you were like i said if you're going to write a poem but you don't read poetry um it's kind of difficult if you you know write a haiku but you don't know what it is <laughs> so 
like yeah, li- like start with uh start with a falsetto you already know. Um make a little variation at the end of it even. And then you can say, okay, well this little phrase at the end is mine. You can even start there. A phrase that only goes from beat number seven to beat number ten. Make that. Make your own thing. Okay. The majority of the false set is by person A, but this little part is mine. Then soon enough you'll change the rest of it anyway. To me and you know, you'll have your whole single compass falsetto that you that that's yours. So just try, but but be like um be respectful of the fact that like you know there are uh, there are norms within it within this music that uh that if you stick by you kind of have a nice template to work on it's it's not as daunting as it seems it's a lot of fun that's the main thing it's very very good advice and I like how you reference listening within that. Um, because you, you joked at the start, you know, you hope it's not a cop-out. It, it certainly wasn't. It was coming at it from a very different frame of reference and a very good one. And one thing I would like to add into the mix as well, just kind of riffing on what you were saying, mm-hmm. I think a lot of people sometimes lose sight of the fact that a lot of the great artists they admire didn't create what they did in a vacuum. They, they, they developed it by being part of the tradition and in many cases learning the works and the ideas of their heroes and in time the flower of their own creativity grew and and i, I really liked how that was a solid part of your answer there 